how to use Shopify collabs. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can get started with the Shopify collabs. Shopify collabs allows you to promote your products and to get in touch with influencers in a better and easier way. It can be so difficult to find the perfect influencer and to find the best ways to promote your product. And you can easily do all of that and so much more using Shopify collabs. So let's get started. Now, the first step to getting started with Shopify collabs is to go into your Shopify store. Once you do that, you're going to go into apps or you can just click on settings on the bottom left. Once you do that, you're going to go into apps and sales channels and then click on Shopify app store. Once you do that, you're going to search for Shopify collabs over here. Now, this is the Shopify collabs application where you can work with influencers and you're just going to click on this. Once you do that, this is going to be, you know, a basic intro to Shopify collabs, which is free to install. And they have a 2.9% commission processing fee on automatic payments. So do keep that in mind. Once you do that, you're going to click on install. And once you click on install, the next process is to complete the installation. So a new tab is going to open up and you're going to see some basic information about Shopify collabs, including how you can find, you know, the best creators that match your brand. You can join their collabs network and discover uh, and promote your products with little effort. You can create discount codes, referral links, and have products as gifts right from your Shopify admin and easily track creator performance. Now click on get started and you're going to choose your target audience. So for me, this is beauty and my primary audience is female. Then you can enter the countries where you'd like to promote your product. Once you do that, you're going to agree to Shopify's terms of service. So this is Shopify collapse terms of service and Shopify's privacy policy. Then click on finish setup. And once you do that, you will see all information. So your collabs profile, you can connect with creators. And on the right, you will also see where creators can find you. To get started, first off, you can invite your creators directly onto your affiliate program by clicking on invite. And you can click on verify contact email. And we're going to verify our email address by sending out a mail. So I'm just going to open up Gmail from here and we're going to verify our email address. And once we've done that, yes, this is my email. And once we've done that, we can go back and our email address has been verified. Now in this, you have creator email templates. You have welcome declined templates as well. You even have socials so you can link your socials, other integrations and affiliates, payments, gifts. If you go into affiliates, you can choose link personalization, link attribution window, minimum order values, and other metrics to track the performance of each affiliate. Now I'm going to pin this on the left and we're going to get started with recruiting programs and connections. So if you want to invite creators via email, you can just click on invite creators and select their tier. By default, there is one tier created and you can add gifts as well. You can add a summary. And you can add emails or import a CSV file and add a, you know, standardized message where you're inviting them to promote your product. And once you do that, you can preview your invite and send it to multiple creators. You can send upwards of 100 invites in one week on their basic free plan, which is, you know, their, their standard plan. Then below that, you have different programs. So there is the default tier, which I like to delete because I like my affiliate marketing to be a bit more structured. And this is going to be different than, you know, regular affiliate marketing because people don't know what levels you're creating. So this is just going to be my micro influencer and I'm going to have, you know, their affiliate link. So their affiliate link is going to be zero like social like this and then we have the url parameters then we have the customer discount so we can give them percentage based discounts free shipping no discounts or fixed amounts so i want to give this no discount or let's say i'm going to give free shipping as a discount and you can add your minimum requirements on this as well so if the person that is purchasing the product needs to purchase you know a certain value of product or a certain number of items 
You can also do fixed amount based discounts and you can also apply these discounts to specific products or collections which you might have created in collaboration with that influencer or with that influencer category. Or the simplest ones are percentage discounts. So let's say it's going to be a 10% discount with a minimum purchase of 1000 okay? And below that, we can add usage limit. So this is going to be one use per customers. And below that, I'm going to limit the total number of times this can be used. So let's say this offer is only valid for the first 3,000 customers. Then they can apply this discount to any product. I'm not going to limit the product or collections. And the purchase is going to be a one-time purchase. And you can select a specific customer segment as well. So set a different commission rate for new and returning customers. If you want to set different commission rates for customers included in a segment. So if my affiliate brings in a new customer, I want to give them 5% commission. But for new customers, it's going to be 10%. Commissions can be different based upon the product or it could be fixed amount per order or if there's no commission, you can add that as well. So for us, we are obviously going to add a percentage based commission and instead of percentage, I'm going to add a fixed amount. And for bringing back a return customer, let's say it's going to be 20 and for a new customer, it's going to be 40 and subscription product commission rules commission for first sale only. Once we've set this up, we can click on create over here and our first, you know, um, tier has been created. Then we're going to click on new tier is going to be my VIP influencer. And then we can add whatever their name is or Pokemon like this. And then we're going to add their customer discount, which is going to be, let's say the customer discount is 10% with a minimum purchase amount of a thousand or of four thousand then below that i am going to choose a segmentation again where the commission for returning customers is 10 percent, and for new customers it's 30 percent. and they are not taking amount they're taking a commission so let's say it's going to be 20 percent of any product and for new customers, 40%. And we can add specific products or collections as well. So if they only sell that particular product or collection item, then they would be receiving their commission. Otherwise they would not, but I'm not gonna specify that. And I can click on create. Now, as people join my affiliate program where I add them, how I want these to be structured. Below that, you also have connections. So you can start, you know, building connections and then you have payments that you've paid out to your influencers and then your general settings. Now in your payments, you're going to have uh, different segmentations of your payments, including holding periods in dispute, waiting for created, scheduled, paid and canceled. Then in our settings, we can manage some of our basic gifts and payments as well. And once we have completed all this basic setup, we can go back into recruiting and start finding appropriate influencers for our product. So we can click on creators in your category and view the specific creators that are recommended to us. We can go into their applications. We can set up an application system where people can apply to become a promoter or affiliate for our website or brand. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you have any questions or queries, make sure to leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say.